to tie a modified version of an Eversync caddis. Uh, I start with some two millimeter craft foam and score the backside just slightly so that it creates an indentation in the in the back of uh, this is a size 14 inch dry fly hook using 80 yellow uni thread. I'm gonna put down a a bed of thread and we'll nip off that. Okay, uh, top plan on tying on the uh, a loose wrap and then pull down and then work my way towards the front. The, the groove in the bottom of the foam helps wrap the foam around the hook shank itself. Trim off the excess off of the top, the front, and then wrap back to where it was tied in. Okay. Uh, on top of that, I'm going to insert some packing crate bubble wrap off of a, of a piece of electronics to add some buoyancy to this fly to keep it from actually sinking. Uh, the neat thing about this is that as you tie in the foam bubble wrap type material, it pretty much disappears. So you wind up with bubble wrap and foam. I put a drop of super glue. on the top of the foam and then even it out across the foam. Wrap the thread back to the tie-in point and then fold over the foam, the double foams and tie in with a loose wrap. <laughs> Nip off the extra. and then wrap towards the back such that you wind up with a loop with a foam packing material bubble inside the orange foam. For a little color, I'm going to add some just a couple of strands of crystal flash. Double them over. Nip them. And then fold it around the thread and then tie it 
as an underwing right on the top of the foam. So to spread them out a little bit. Next I'm going to add some elf hair. Clean the fuzzies out of the, uh, the elk hair. And then stack. And then they line up straight, grab the straight ends. and tie them in at about the length of the foam. A couple of loose wraps and a straight down cinch to make them sort of fan out. And then take a few at a time and pull them back and wrap through the to secure it a little more. And then trim away the excess elk hair towards the front. Add just a little bit a couple of more pieces of the uh, crystal flash on the top and then tie it in tight. I use my fingernails to compress the foam some to reduce the size of the abdomen portion of this, this particular fly. Okay, uh, and then finish the fly off with a uh, whiting barred saddle hackle. It's a barred ginger saddle hackle. Put a half hitch at the, and then here, and then take the the saddle hackle, and begin the wraps forward.
a cup, couple of couple of turns to catch. Snip it off. Put a uh, small head. And then put a whip finish. Couple of rounds with the whip finish. Then a little cleanup. And then I'm going to finish the fly head with a drop of super glue off of a bodkin to keep the thread from coming undone. And that's my improved Never Sink Caddis for 2019.